Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk About It Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please turn on the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you'll be the first one to see it. Let's get into it. What we're going to talk about, we talk about celebrity news, celebrity gossip, what's going on on IG and Google. Fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, allowances made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comma, comments, comma, news reporting, comma, teaching, comma, scholarships, and research. Fair use is use permitted by a copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. All comments are alleged, in our opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. And don't forget, the Cash App is Let's Talk About It Media. And thank you for your love and support. So don't forget to like, to comment, but be kind, and also turn on the notification bell. So let's get into it. It's being reported that Usher had a concert recently, and I guess Kim popped in for the concert. Of course, she got some attention. Of course, Usher got some attention, and the camera was on her. Of course they did that. Why? It's because recently she was just called disingenuous. That's why. Whenever there's some weird media that anybody says anything about the K's and the J's and it goes out to the Shade Room or to the Jasmine brand, don't know if the Neighborhood Talk posted it, but we're going to get into it. So I get that's why. Then the post said something about, oh, she couldn't make it with her girls this time and they're probably going to be mad because there's all of a sudden decision. We get it. We get it. Now, Usher is actually dating some girl named Jennifer G. So I don't think that he's interested in Kim. But isn't it interesting how anytime, anytime they see Kim or Chloe with a guy, the news wants to report that the boyfriend, could they be dating? Are they seeing each other? That's weird. Hello. Why is that weird? Because you want to associate yourself with somebody you're just hanging out with. You're just with. And like I told you guys before, we speak about healthy and safe relationships. Why is it that the girls are not able to maintain good, healthy friendships, good, healthy male relationships? They like when a guy is problematic. Let's say, for instance, Lamar Odom concerns for years. Lamar Odom had so many different reports in the media. Lamar Odom went to a ranch. There was so much that went on regarding that. And of course, Chloe divorced him, but Chloe didn't even know Lamar for a long time. She knew him for less than maybe 200 days. Huh. Hello. And they got married. So then we have this situation in regards to Kylie dating Travis Scott. Everyone knew that he was talking about and what he was doing. Some of his shows talk about raging, concerning. Then we have the astral world situation, concerning people passed away. Then we have Kim, who dated Kanye. So many concerns when he was dating her. Not too many concerns prior to that. But the biggest thing is we talk about everything that transpired. And then you see all that has happened the year of them getting divorced. That should tell people a lot right there. So is she having a hard time finding someone because people saw how her and Pete were acting with Kanye? Now Kanye's in a happy relationship. She can't blame it on him that she can't find anyone. But remember how I did a video? I was watching someone and it talked about how Kim really liked Reggie Bush. So she seeked him out. Kim really liked Kanye. So she seeked him out. But then Kanye started allegedly dating uh, Amber Rose. So he started dating Amber Rose. Then him and Amber Rose broke up and allegedly Kim called him and saying, hey, I thought you were going to call me. That's what the news reports were saying back then. 
So now let's get to the video of Usher singing. And of course, many people are basically like, oh, she look at her. They're having a good time. Yeah, I would too if I was at an Usher concert. But the biggest thing is he's dating. He's already already showed his girlfriend and who he's dating and who he's seeing. And back then, three, four, five years ago, there were stories about Usher. So what well wishes in regards to that? I did like when Tiana Taylor was on stage having a good time. She's loving the attention. And we get it. We get it. We get it. But what well wishes to Usher in regards to this situation? But let's go to this post because it's basically stating that he called her um, disingenuous. Why did he call her disingenuous? Of course, they met. They worked on a few different things before. And remember how Kanye had already spoken and said that he felt that whenever they would do stuff in regards to legal stuff, uh, he had already said that some of that stuff was already towards the end. It was already going to allegedly happen. That's what some of the reports were saying, not by Kanye. Some of the reports were saying she just likes to attach her name to stuff that's already going to be released, going to happen. You have law students that work on these cases for years. And then it's like she wants to attach her name to it. And they look into it six or eight months prior to what could be forthcoming. So what wishes in regards to that? Helping people is a good thing. But Kanye had already said she likes that media attention because it brings a lot of press regarding it. So let's see what Google says disingenuous is. What does disingenuous mean? Here's the definition of disingenuous. Not candid or sincere. Typically by pretending that one knows less about something than one really does. So that's what disingenuous means. Now whether he meant that, who knows. He posted it and he did an interview. So he did a rapid question about different people. And they asked him about Elon Musk, smart. They asked him about different people. And then of course they asked him about Kim. And that's how his feelings were. So we get that that's being said. And that's his feelings. Do I approve of everything he says? No. Do I approve everything he does? No. Everybody can go back to what transpired at the, um, that day. Everybody know what I was talking about. That was concerning because you n would not have wanted your family in that building when that happened. So there's just so much going on in the world. So many people get away with so much stuff. So many people play in people's faces and, it's a concern. It is. So let's get to this other video because everybody's going to be like, what in the world? So, of course, this is the same thing. Um, Radar and Lie is reporting on it in regards to him calling her disingenuous. This is the next clip I want to get to. Now, this is not Kanye and this is not Bianca. I don't know who this is. I don't know why this is happening. I don't know why they're acting like this is Kanye and Bianca, but it's not. But this is a concerning video. People are weird. You're going to see, watch the end. You're going to see what's happening. Something She's doing something to the glass, squeezing on the glass. The person smelling the fries. Wait till he dig into that box. Watch this. They pull out Kim's book. People are weird, y'all. Real talk. I saw this and I was like, what in the world? What in the world is going on? What in the world? I don't know who this is. I don't know who did this promotion. Don't know. I'm just posting on it. But people are weird. People are weird. And then, of course, we talk about, you know, Balenciaga and her basically taking forever to say she's not going to work with them anymore. And they take out the fries and they're basically smelling it. They're not eating it. Okay, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting. And the drink is a dark color. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you feel about him calling Kim disingenuous. Let me know how you feel about her attending the Usher concert. Everyone have a great day.